Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the fourth talk in the series of talks, and I believe goes part way um, of meeting the aim of the project, which was Winscombe and Sanford remembers. And don't forget there's more to come with the musicals and the church services and the folk night next week. Um, so, a series of thanks. First of all, to Ali Williamson and her family providing the refreshment, serving the teas tonight. Ali, um, the scouts, brilliant. Um, to all those that have bought artifacts, we're absolutely amazing. We could probably spend most of the night here reading and looking at them, but they are truly amazing. We just didn't foresee what would come out when you ask if you've got anything, just bring it along. We thought perhaps one or two tables, but we knew John Westlake was here, so that'll fill up a couple. <laughs> so thanks, John, very much. And, and finally, to the speakers, perhaps not me, but to you people who have done the research, have been to rehearsals, and, and have actually taken the emotional side of life this last month or so in going back and reflecting uh, the families that have suffered, and, and the final one from Gerald, well, we were spellbound at rehearsal, and we're still, but that was brilliant. So, I know William would like to say a few words, um, as the leader of the project, William. <laughs> thank you very much, everyone. Um, it's been lovely to see you here this evening. I just wanted to thank everyone who has helped with the project. Since we started, uh, there was a meeting back in the community centre last January, uh, thank you, and printed on your mind. <laughs> um, and since then, it's been lovely that so many people have come forward and volunteered to help us and ensure that the project has been a success. Um, I would just like to close. We have talked about the sadness and horrors of war, and in Winscombe and Sanford, there were 51 people who lost their lives during the Great War. Those crosses over to my left are symbols of all of those 51 people. And on Sunday, they will be carried up to the altar at St. James's Church, and then after the service, they will be laid on the War Memorial. As many of you as possible to join us there on Sunday morning, service starts at 10.50. And just finally, at the end of the day, we would encourage everyone to put a light for peace in the front window of your home. It doesn't matter if your home can't be seen, it is a symbolic gesture and we encourage everyone to go forth from here and encourage your friends, neighbours, etc. to join in this simple act as a symbol of peace for the future. Thank you very much indeed.